Now we're gonna get started with our third annual open mic event. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody who submitted a video. Thank you very much. Without you guys, this show, this talent show wouldn't be possible. So thank you very much and enjoy. Hold on to me. Don't let me go. Who cares what they see? Who cares what they know? Your first name is free. Your last name is dumb. But you still believe in where we're from. Man's red flower. It's an every little thing. Mind you, your power. So I'm going to be doing this scene from Hamilton where Angelica's sister Eliza is getting married to Eliza herself's love interest, Alexander Hamilton. It's just to the groom, to the bride, from your sister, who is always by your side. To your union and the hope that you provide. May you always be satisfied. I remember that night, I just might. I remember that night, I just might. I remember that night, I remember that. I remember that night, I just might regret that night for the rest of my days. I remember those soldier boys tripping over themselves, still being our praise. I remember that dream like candlelight, like a dream they can't quite place. And Alexander, I'll never forget the first time I saw your face. I have never been the same. It's only James. I have been a hunger pain crane. And when you stayed high, you forgot my dang name. Say my heart is playing, everybody playing. This is not a game. I'm sure I don't know what you mean when you forget yourself. Is that right? My name's Angelica Skyler. Where's your family from? So, 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 this is what it feels like to match with, with someone at your level. What the hell is the catch? It's a feeling of freedom and seeing the light. You're trying to be the candy kite. See, right? The conversation lasted two minutes, maybe three minutes. I went to with an total of three minutes. The three minutes, a bit of a dance. The bit of a posture is a bit of a stance. He's a bit of a flood, but I'm giving him a chance. Asked about his family, using his answer. His eyes said the picture didn't even look the same. Spending like he's flying by the seat of his pants. Handsome boy, does he know it? Peach bars and cats and glories. I want to take you far away from his face. And make sure it's my sister's face. And she is helpless. And I know she is. And her eyes are just. And then I realize three fundamental truths at the exact same time. Hi, my name is Eureka Rodriguez. And today I will be presenting a poem that I wrote after learning to accept and love myself after years of um, just battling with a lot of insecurities. So um, the poem is titled Fragility Traps Girls Like Me and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Today I woke up and I just felt different. It is not often I wake up and suddenly feel perfect. I know I'm not perfect but I have no other words to describe the bliss of finally feeling like for once there is nothing wrong with me. I looked in the mirror and for once I felt strong. I felt absolutely invincible. My eyes were just beautiful to look at. My hair was flowing like a goddess. My nails even had a glow as if the morning dew kissed it. Just before I erupted from my slumber, I thought for a moment that this was just my normal fragile state. If I was being selfish, 
Today was different because a sense of strength overcame me, and I no longer felt fragile. My fragility guaranteed me endless mental torment, endless expectations to me. Needless to say, fragility traps girls like me. Fragility traps girls like me, especially in the checkout line when I see those beautiful tall girls and their diamonds and pearls. Fragility traps girls like me. When I see birds pass by my window, unafraid of its sense of direction, as I look out feeling friendless and hopeless, fragility traps girls like me that want nothing more than to break away from tradition in a world drenched in rules. Fragility traps girls like me. They have tried all the makeup and the skirts and the shoes just to end up feeling like fools. Fragility ultimately can break a girl like me. Because being trapped to what others define as beauty means surrendering my identity. The strength of what I felt this morning was the reclamation of my identity. I broke free from the chains of my fragility. I went through the rest of my day with smiles. I went for a sunny walk for a few miles. I danced across my house tiles. I shopped throughout the aisles of makeup and skirts and shoes and finally reconciled with that old fragile me and put it to rest. As I came to realize, I don't need to be trapped by fragility when strength feels so much better. So now it is time for bed and I take this, and I take this strength with me and as I grow, I hope my strength does too, because fragility can trap a girl like me, but not anymore. Thank you. chemistry 22 class and I am gonna sing a karaoke song called tequila here we go Tequila. Tequila. Everyone in the world has gone to bed one night or another with fear or pain or loss or disappointment. And yet each of us has awakened, arisen, uh, somehow made our ablution, seen other human beings, and said, Morning, how are you? Find things in you. It's amazing. Wherever that abides in the human being, there is the nobleness of the human spirit, despite it all, black and white. Asian, Spanish, Native American, pretty, plain, thin, fat. 
vow to celibate. We rise. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still like dust, I rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Just because I walk as if I have oil wells pumping in my living room. Just like suns and like moons with the certainty of tides. Just like hope springing high. Still I rise. Did you want to see me broken? Bowed head and lowered eyes. Shoulders falling down like teardrops. Weakened by my soulful cries. Does my sassiness upset you? <laughs> Don't take it so hard just because I laugh. <laughs> As if I have gold mines digging in my own backyard. You can shoot me with your words. You can cut me with your lies. You can kill me with your hatefulness. But just like life, I rise. Does my sexiness offend you? Oh. Does it come as a surprise that I dance? as if I have diamonds at the meeting of my thighs. Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past rooted in pain, I rise. A black ocean leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise. Into a daybreak miraculously clear, I rise bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave. I am the hope and the dream of the slave. And so, naturally, there I go rising. Hi, my name is Daisy Guzman, and I want to share with you guys a quote that really touched me. I know we've all been hit really hard with this COVID-19 pandemic, and we probably lost a loved one or a friend. So I hope you guys enjoy this quote. It's called, In Our Hearts. We thought of you with love today, but that is nothing new. We thought about you yesterday and days before that too. We think of you in silence. We often speak your name. Now all we have is memories and your picture in a frame. Your memory is our keepsake with which we'll never part. God has you in this keeping. We have you in our heart. So that was our first half of the videos. Before we started with our second half and showcase our own star who's put out an amazing song just for the show, I'm going to launch a poll. For you guys need to vote on the top one. You guys get to vote on your top video for the first five videos. So get launch a poll right now. But you guys get to vote on your first, on the first five videos, videos one through five. Both for your top favorite. So remember your vote is on videos one through five. Five guys. One through five, we haven't showcased video six through twelve. So one through five. Okay, thank you for the heads up. Okay, I'm gonna close the body in six seconds. Thank you very much. Okay. 
now I'd like to I'm gonna showcase a song that Star wrote for us. Star, is there anything special that you like to note about this song? No, it's just, you know, we're in the month of February. Not only is it Black History, but it's Love Month. So let's uh, fall in love a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Star. From the moment my eyes laid on you, I knew we would have a good rendezvous. I'm not worried about who else is in the room. I want to spend the rest of the night just with you. Love, don't walk away. I really want you to stay with me for more than tonight. I need you here in my life. I want you to be mine. I want you to be mine. Stop trying to say goodbye. Please don't say bye. I want you to be mine. I want you to be mine. Stop trying to say goodbye. Please don't say bye. Such a good time with you While we dance Instantly One of my wish came true As I held you Close to me Your lips kiss my eyes This connection that we share we should be worthy all the time I love love don't walk away I really want you to stay with me for more than tonight I need you here in my life I want you to be mine. Stop trying to say goodbye. Please don't say bye. I want you to be mine. I want you to be mine. Stop trying to say goodbye. Please don't say bye. Imagine you are with all your family in dinner Christmas celebrating when your mom starts to feel bad. She complains with a chest pain. She collapses in front of you and you run to hold her and see what's going on with her. But you don't know what to do. In a couple of minutes, she died. Hello, everyone. My name is Adriana Trujillo. And my question to you is, do you know GIP CPR? CPR is a cardiopulmonary resuscitation. It's a medical process that you will use in cardiac arrest. The main goal is maintain the victim alive until the medical response arrives. In my speech, I will teach you the CPR basis to be prepared in any situations. The first step is the scene safety. The scene has to be safety for you and the victim. 
there are three possible scenarios that you can um, stay in one situation. The first is on the road. If the victim is in the road, you have to move the victim on the sec safety place for prevent you and the victim being injured. The second scenario is on the water. If the victim is in the water, you have to take out and put on the line for perform CPR. The third scenario is in a home or closed space. You have to move everything around the victim for prevent being injured and for perform CPR. The second step is you have to close to the victim like this. You have to um, tap on the shoulder and say, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? If the victim did not respond to you, you have to check respirations and pulse like this. You have to check if the chest is arise in the victim. And you have to check pulse with these two hands in the arm, carotid pulse. If the victim no response, is no respiration, and no have pulse, the next step is call 911. You can call 911 or any bystander are around of you. You have to ask to the bystander like this. Hey, you! Call 911. Later, the next step is do compressions. For do compressions, you have to put your hands like this with your palm. Later, with the other hand, you have to grab your fingers like this. Your arm has to be straight like this. The compression has to be in the breast tongue of the victim. You have to put your hands like this. The compression has to be dirty. They have to be deep and adequate. And his has to be 100 per minute, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Later of this, you have to give to the victim two breaths. For give to the victim two breaths, you have to use the maneuver healthy chin left. With one hand, you have to put on the forehead to the patient silently. With the other hand, you have to lift the shin, like this. You have to give two breaths, like this. Your mouth has to cover the mouth to the patient. And you have to see if you are giving uh, good uh, breaths, like this. See why you are giving the breath if the chest rises to the victim. Later of this, you have to do again 30 compressions. Later of five cycles, the three compression and two breaths, you have to check again the respiration and the pulse until the medical response arrives to the scene. Right now, you know um, how to perform CPR. And probably you can save your mom's life. And if you have no lawyers of CPR, you, you can be prepared for any situations. I will encourage you to see more demo for CPR or taking um, trainings with professionals. Right now, I'm going to share you one video how I perform CPR in my classes of EMT. Um, because I want to show you the adequate form. Okay. Uh, do I have 
Any bystanders around on this moment that sign up? Not a moment, no. Okay, I will check um, the sponsor for my patient. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? Patient is fine. Okay, I will request patient and EMS assistance. And I will check who to leave after the stop. Your patient is Thank you. My name is Abigail, and I am taking Chem 1B with Dr. Henry. The name of this poetry that I like very much is called Cage Bird by Maya Angelou. If free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the current ends and dips his wing in the orange sun rays and dares to claim the sky, but a bird that stalks down his narrow cage can seldom see through his bars of rage. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied. So he opens his throat to sing. The cage bird sings for trill of things unknown but long for still. And his tune is heard on the distant hill for the cage bird sings of freedom. The free bird thinks of another breeze and the trade wind Thank song. You. You oh, can I get a sleeve? Waiting on a dawn bright lawn, and he names the sky his own. But a cage bird stands on the grave of dreams. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied, so he opens his throat to sing. The cage bird sings with a free for trill of things and no but long for still. And his tune is heard on the distant hill, for the cage bird sings of freedom. Hello everyone, my name is Heather Mendez and I'm from Chemistry 2A. Today on the big silver screen, you will be witnessing me perform a magic trick for all to see. Just kidding, it's not magic. Even though some may consider it to be magic, it's actually just chemistry. This experiment is considered the iodine clock experiment it is a reaction famous for its dramatic clear to black color change, and it's a black to clear color change. It is often used in chemistry courses to explore the rate at which reactions take place. Speaking of clocks, travel back in time with me, won't you? Let's talk about five African-American chemists who made a difference. African Americans have been making major advances in the chemical sciences for more than 170 years. There was St. Elmo Brady, born in 1884 to 1966. There was Norbert Relu, born in 1806 to 1894. George Washington Carver, born in 1865 to 1943. Percy L. Julian, born in 1899 to 1975. And there's also Mae Jemsen. Let's talk about her for a minute. She was born in 1956, the first African-American woman to fly in space. Dr. Mae Jemsen holds a BS in chemical engineering. In 1992, she served on an eight-day space shuttle mission that conducted microgravity investigations in materials and life sciences while orbiting Earth 127 times. Jemsen was a co-investigator on the bone cell research experiment flown on the mission. She was also the first astronaut to appear on Star Trek. You know, May Jemsen once said, what we find is that if you have a goal that is very, very far out and you approach it in little steps, you start to get there faster. Your mind opens up to the possibility. She also said, never limit yourself because of others' limited imagination. Never limit others because of your own limited imagination. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Tania Guardado. I'm in Chemistry 002A with Dr. Henry. I decided to make a project that I hope will inspire people to learn more about the Black Lives Matter issue. So I hope you enjoy the process of it and make your own at home. Thank you.
Hi guys, my name is Christian. I am taking Chem 2A with Dr. Henry over at the Kalinga campus. Today I'm going to be doing a small little something that I learned back when I was in grade school. And now it's something that I'm going to be teaching my little helper, Mr. Xander Hernandez. Hi. So we're going to be doing a lava lamp. You're going to need some oil in a container. You will fill this up about halfway with oil. And you will need, you will also need about half a cup of just room temperature water. You need food coloring, but we don't have food coloring, so we'll improvise with some meal. Sander, squeeze them in here, puppy. A little bit more. Okay, and then last thing you'll do is you'll need some Alka-Seltzers. So we're going to go ahead and drop it in. And we'll see if it reacts. This is a small and simple experiment that you could you guys could you do at home with your kids and it's very easy for the kids to be able to learn how to do some small experiments. You should love mom. Thank you guys. Hi, I'm Judith Gondolis, and my talent is painting. Hold on to me. Let's give it a round of applause to everybody who participated in tonight's talent show. That was amazing. That was incredible. Um, Good job, yes. guys. It was really incredible. We had divers, we had snowboarders, we had painters, and, and we had chemistry, science. It is great. So now you get an opportunity to vote for your best performers. So what do we like you guys to do? We want you guys to re-vote in part one and also in part two, okay? So we need those votes. And so what we're gonna do after that, we're gonna take the top three from part one and then the top three from part two. And then we'll put those together and then you guys can vote again. You guys get it? You see how it works? Put it in the chat that you understand what I'm saying and I'm not talking crazy. Perfect. Okay. Okay, you guys ready? Now everybody votes. Every vote counts, right? Everybody votes. 
like the elections, every vote counts. Okay, we're gonna relaunch the poll. Put your vote in. A lot of people died to be able to vote, so vote, let's vote. So we got 63 out of 76. Come on, we need 10 more, 10 more votes. Get us there, get us over that hill, come on. Five more votes, five more. Three more. Two more. I know it's not that hard. Come on, you can do it. One more. Un mas. Okay, let's go ahead and close those votes, and then we'll tell you the last three, uh, the last six candidates for your final vote. Okay, ready? I'm going to share the results. Samuana, I'm gonna to have to ask you to give me control so I can change the poll real quick so we can put those last three in. Sure. Thank you. Make me make me the man. Give me power. Very good. You're the host. I am the host. Excellent. Let's see if this works. Uh, well, it may not work. I think it's since it's coming from you, it's not gonna work. Sorry. Okay, so what we'll do is, since uh, we'll take those top three, I'm gonna give you back the power since I can't do anything on my end, it seems, since it's starting at your place, and see if you can hit uh, pull. Then Juana, and, and will it open up? And then it can you make a poll? It won't open up, up another one. Mm. That's all right. So this is what we'll do is, we'll take those top three in the uh, first bracket and then a top three in the second half. And then, uh, so then this is what we're seeing. Top three would be, number one would be Yuki, Mary, and Selena for the first half. Second half. The second half. The top three is, uh, let's see, it's Heather. It's Christian. I mean, sorry, it's Heather. It's Adrian. I mean, Adriana. And it is, there's a tie between uh, Christian and Jake. Okay, so let's see, this is how we're going to do this. Okay, so what we'll do is do this the old fashioned way. So let me see if I can share my screen. Oh, can you give me, can you give me a uh, semi power? Yes, I can. Make me a co host. Thank you. Maybe. You're good. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so we have. Let's see if I can get this done real quick. We have Mary, video one.
we have video two. Here we go. And we have video three. We have video start here, video eight. And that's Heather. We have video. Six. We have video. Can you guys see my white screen? Thumbs up. Anyone? Yeah, we see it. Looks good, Dr. Okay. Henry. Good. Yes. Video 10. That's Christian. And we have video. Video 11, and that's Jake. Okay, so these are the videos that you guys are going to vote for. You guys get one vote. Okay, so we're going to do the thumbs up way, old fashioned way. For those who are voting for video one, Put your thumbs up right now. If somebody can help me monitor all the people that are putting your thumbs up in the video screens, that would help me. So put your videos up right now for video one. It's interactive. Come on, work with me. I see some thumbs up. Is it an actual video, Dr. Henry? Actually, guys, if you guys actually put a thumbs up emoji, it tells yes. us in the bottom how many have a thumb up emoji. Yeah, the most I've saw was five. Okay, so let's ask the question again. So everybody stop voting right now. Take out your emojis. Thank you. Hey. If your favorite video is video number one, put up a thumbs up emoji. Now remember, everybody votes. Yes. Okay. So we got. We okay. Got... Good. Okay. Number two. Oops. I saw 17 as the highest. Video number three. So eight at the highest. Video number eight. Don't raise your hand, put the thumbs up. So we got five. Video Number six. six. Okay, I saw eight at the highest. Video 10. We got 10. Video 11. So 
So we got seven. Okay. So our top three winners. Number one is Eureka. Number two is going to be Christian. And then we have a tie between number three. Okay, number four. It's gonna be a tie between Mary and uh, Jake. And number five, Heather. So all our participants are gonna get uh, at least a gift box for Starbucks, but the top five here, they're gonna get uh, monetary value. So we got number one is gonna get a uh, $100 gift card. So you, you, Eureka, if you can do me a favor and uh, remind me of your address again, and so we'll send that to you so you'll have it mailed to you. Uh, number two, Second place, we'll get a $50 gift card. So then that'll go to Christian. Same thing, Christian. Number three, we have uh, a tie between Selena and Adriana. You guys will both be getting a $25 gift card. Number, number four, um, you guys are both gonna be getting a, a $10 gift card to Starbucks. And number five, you're also going to be getting a $10 gift card to Starbucks. Congratulations and thank you guys for everything. So uh, let's, we have the closing one, closing video. Is that correct? Thank you guys. That is correct. Okay, so let's do the closing video and then I'll say my farewells to everyone. Can you stop sharing your screen? Please? Congratulations. Yes, and I should give you power back, right? Oh no, you have power. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, yes. we can. Yes. Some yes. try to keep us separated in the dark and alone, but there's a fire in us and we all feel the burn. It helps us rebuild our connections rooted in the dust, where the blood, sweat, and tears of our ancestors rust, where they planned, rebelled, and fought to strive to create a better path for our lives. Celebrating them every day is definitely needed, but a month for the world just to drill it and beat it. Like the drums in the biggest jungle, like the dancers in every carnival. Cherish your tribe and what they do for you. Earn your leisure while you all pursue. The ambitions of a legacy that's as bold as your youth. Shine your light and share your truth. Tell your history and all your royal news. Stand in your black excellence proud and beautiful. EYL. Black History Month. Okay, eventually I'm going to get it to work here. So I want to thank everybody for coming out. We had a, a great time and I want to thank those participants that contribute videos. I know some of you guys contribute videos on on, your, on the Canvas shell and you didn't quite understand that you just submitted to the link, that's okay. I really appreciate that the fact that you guys took the effort to sit there and, and participate. Participation is important, particularly in our community. You guys gotta realize that we're a big family, you know, whether we're black, white, uh, Latino, Asian, we are a family. We are all trying to make the best of the world. And so it's really important that we support each other and attend these events and be interactive. So I'm expecting to see all of you guys at the next event, which will be. Um, it will be Thursday, February 25th at 12 o'clock. And so I guess I expect to see all you guys there. Make sure you guys register in advance. So we got to have an idea of who's going to be attending. And uh, thank you guys for coming out. For those who are in chemistry, my office hours is at 7 o'clock. So I'll see you guys at 7 o'clock if you have questions on the lab or on the homeworks. Okay. So thanks again, I really appreciate it. And the, um, the Cultural Awareness Coalition appreciate it and also ASB, ASB also appreciate you guys coming out and supporting us. So 
So we'll see you guys at the next event. Have a good night.